Let's move on. Florida State 35, North Carolina 25. We talked about it before the game. We talked about it when we were making our picks. North Carolina with Mac Brown has never beaten Florida State at, from his early time there to now. And look, this was not a fluke. There was nothing fluky about this. Florida State had yards per game edge or yards per play edge. They they outgained them overall. They, I mean, it was just the the whole the whole situation here. North Carolina had twelve penalties for one hundred and ten yards. They lost a turnover. Florida State did not. Florida State was the better prepared team overall. Florida State didn't even have to score in the fourth quarter to win this game by double digits. Is there a team that was more? overhyped in the preseason than North Carolina. I Hey, I will tell you this. I don't know how many other people think this. I think Mac Brown might retire at the well, end of the season. I mean, this if this was the best you were going to have and this is what you're getting, then, then why are you still doing it? Because yeah. here's what's sad. I said this to our group text, and I'll say it now. I didn't until this morning. We were preparing for the recap, and I'm going through the schedule, and I'm going through the games last night that I didn't touch on at all, and I didn't watch at all. And I was just like, I didn't see what that Florida State-North Carolina score is. Did did North Carolina cover? Did Florida State cover? Like, what happened? And I noticed that uh, Florida State won the game and won the game kind of handily, and I thought, whoa. Uh, I know it's a credence to a crazy, chaotic Saturday, but how bad has things gotten in North Carolina – that this was a top 10 team in the country preseason, and now they get upset by a double-digit dog at home, and it doesn't even make the news. Like, it didn't get yep. – like, I didn't see a tweet about it by a national columnist. I didn't see it on ESPN. Like, nobody has talked about it that's not a North Carolina or a Florida State person, and I thought, that's sad. Like, yes. that's – it's really, really sad. You don't want to. Be- you can be bad, okay? You can be bad. You don't want to become irrelevant. Well, That's what that is. Virginia Tech wrote the script for how to beat North Carolina. Yeah, but most and- dudes don't have the talent Virginia Tech does. To do- you can have the script all you want, Gary. Right. If if you ain't got the actors, baby, the play's gonna suck. But that's the deal: is Georgia Tech has the same kind of athletes that Virginia Tech does. Florida State certainly has the kind of athletes that Virginia Tech does. I didn't and, think Florida State had the had the defense. I will I will tell you take ad. I'll tell you what surprised me in this. Jordan Travis. Eleven out of thirteen pat like McKenzie Milton didn't even play. It oh, Jordan no, Travis but, but McKenzie Milton hadn't played in two weeks. Like right. Travis is the better quarterback. This breaks my heart to see, but yeah. Uh eleven out of thirteen passing, one hundred forty five yards, three touchdowns. He had fourteen carries for one hundred twenty one yards and two touchdowns. Yep. Just re- Ridiculous. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.